Hi and Assalamualaikum. My name is Atif Alharis Mirza bin Abdul Latif. My metric number is 4212008291D. And for today, I'm um, my group and I will be giving out a speech about uh, mental health. Well, to be exact, it's about uh, men's mental health. So here it goes. Um, men are suffering a lot during this modern world. So, does it mean that men suffer much more depression than women does? Well, I would say, we'll get back to it in a second. As we all know, depression and anxiety are common these days. According to World Health, Health Organization, pretty known as WHO, there are approximately 280 million people worldwide that have depression and they are desperately in need of help without them even knowing or wanting the support. I repeat, there are 280 million people that suffer depression. There are many factors that contribute to this illness from having a traumatizing upbringing to the struggles of fitting in a new environment. One of the reasons um, of this speech is to raise the awareness within the society regarding men's mental health with the basic foundation of the society that I think that Society needs to help raising the awareness um, regarding men's well-being. Although they are the stronger physic gender in general, most of them are afraid of being judged as society sees them as masculine and strong figure human being. According to Malaysian research on men's health, men's health, men's mental health accounts for 8%. That's quite a lot of, an, of a number right there. It's, it contributes 8% of the disease burden. And according to experts, men are less likely than women to seek mental health and and the treatment itself well this does not however imply that they are less prone to suffer from mental illness so we got to raise the awareness that men also have a lot of um anxiety and depression and we need to find a proper treatment for them. Hello, my name is Muhammad Hafizuddin B. Osman and I will talk about why men can't open up to society which for all intent and purpose is very important. One of the reasons why men can't kind of open up to society is that society basically has already set an image that men is strong they can't cry when they for the most part are injured mentally or physically. This image of men kind of is also strengthened by the media that show that men for all intent and purpose are brave and they don't for the most part have any fear in a big way. This image of men will be stuck inside the brain of many children and even adults. Women will for the most part expect that it generally is the duty of men they should shoulder their problems without any repercussion and men will also actually think they can't talk about their problems because men should really be able to essentially solve their problems all by themselves in a subtle way. Men generally are afraid of society response to their difficult circumstances because they for the most part are afraid of the unknown 
which actually is quiet, quiet significant. They don't kind of know what will for the most part happen if they pretty open up because no one for the most part has ever definitely opened up publicly. Men will always basically think about what will definitely happen if they open up to society. Will the society help them or condemn them for being weak? Men really are more worried that they will actually lose a place in society instead of worrying about the problem that will for the most part destroy their life because men care kind of more about their image in society which typically is quiet, is very important. Men are afraid that society will belittle them because they literally are weak and not kind of be able to basically go through difficult circumstances because they really are not strong, which is very important. Also, men are unable to open up to society because they are terrified of how society will basically react to their difficulty and of being kind of dismissed by society, which basically is very important. Society must specifically adjust its mindset towards male so that men can more easily really solve their difficulty with the support of society. If society is not soft willing to change its view of men, at some point, there will really be a lot of men who will specifically have a mental breakdown and it will for the most part bring down society because there are not enough people to definitely handle the fundamental job that basically keep the society going smoothly. Society mindset that men are pretty strong and really smart to handle their problems and don't need basically help at all needs to literally be removed because everybody need generally help no matter what gender they really are. Some problems can't be solved alone even if they for all intent and purpose are men. Thank you for listening. Hello, it is me again. I will talk about how men can't even ask for help from their family and close friends. The reason why the mindset that men need to be strong and they can't be weak comes to exist is from their own parents' teaching. The parents teach their son from a young age that men need to be strong and they can't show their weak side to everybody around them. If they do not hide their weakness, everybody will judge you as a weak man and can't rely on you to handle their problem. They will dodge you like water causing between the rock and the river. From the early age, boys are taught to enjoy a variety of clothing, colors, haircuts, games, and other activities. No one ever asks about their preference. They have a bit taught how to communicate their emotion. They are told to quit sobbing if it's not for a serious reason because it makes them look girly. Men will hide their emotion at the bottom of their hearts and they will never let it out ever. Even if they did it, it might be too late. You will expect that men will be able to express their feeling with their close friend, but in the end, their close friend also expect them to not have any witnesses. It's like men won't be able to express their feeling to anybody but themselves. If they are lucky, they will meet someone who will be able to hear everything they want to say, but it will be a long time. Men are still juggling their careers and their families. They keep themselves engaged to avoid feeling emotion. And when they do, they turn to alcohol and other drugs or beverage to help them from feeling those emotions. When men hit their limit and they really want to express themselves, they won't be able to seek assistance from their family because they have been taught that men cannot be weak and strong. They are also afraid of disappointing their parents and they can't rely on their close friend because it will be the same outcome which is disappointing them. Their last resort is to meet a therapist because that is their only choice. They are expert in giving advice, listening and others. They also won't tell other people your secret also. 
Parents must completely change the way how they teach their son to become strong. While it is okay to have flaws and weaknesses, and they must choose friends with who they can open up while while being judged adversely. Thank you for listening. Hi, assalamualaikum and good morning, madam and all of you. My name is Nur Fatiha Farhani binti Muhammad Rizal. Uh, I will continue to the third point. Okay, for topic sentence three, my main point is every man is uh, considered as a potential rapist. Okay, why? Because if a woman makes a false molestation complaint against a man out of revenge or any other motive, society is more likely to believe the woman's word. Uh, society and media expose the accused before the investigation. This kind of attitude of society helps victim in genuine cases, but the scope of fall cases is ignored. Okay, for example, there was a piece of news that happened in indoor where an indoor teen, a teenager, tried to fool the police with a fake rape case in. January 2021, a rape case was registered by Indoor Police uh, when uh, a 19 years old girl alleged that she was abducted and again raped by five men and was dumped on a railway track. A teen in the house she lived in who was a uh, a uh, 25 uh, years old male was uh, detained by the police when in her statement she stated that he uh, was one of the culprits the girl kept changing her statement throughout the investigation and after much probing she along with her life in partner revealed that they concord the story okay she had previously been involved in a similar cases and had gotten a compensation of uh, about two, 200, uh, if I'm not mistaken, from the government. So it is quite possible that she hatched the false plan in order to earn some more money. Okay, to conclude this point, I would say that false uh, molestation cases will result in the irreversible loss of reputation and causes mental agony to the accused and his family so there will be shame and uh, people will think that they are the rapists but but turns out they are not it just it just uh, a false accusations thank you farhani for the brief explanation um regarding what's happening in our society right now as a conclusion, men's mental health and well-being should be promoted by the society, despite the fact that they are the physically stronger gender. Most of them are terrified of being evaluated because society views them as manly and strong-bodied inv- individuals. With that being said, I'm going to restate all the main points that my group members and I have explained. The first main point would be men can open up to society. As we already know, men are afraid of being judged. The second main point is men cannot even ask for help from their family, their peers, their co-workers, And this is mainly because men were born with the surroundings expectation that they are capable of doing great things. And the final main point is every single man is considered a potential rapist. Now this is sad but true. A 2010 study shows that... um, conducts uh, 136 sexual assault reports investigated by the police department. 5.9% were coded as false reports. 44.9% were 
were not prosecuted or disciplinary action wasn't taken. 35.3% were referred for prosecution or disciplinary action and the rest, which is 13.9, had insufficient information to be coded. The true percentage is unknown. According to a, tw a 2013 book on forensic victimology, due to differing definitions of false accusation, to sum up all the things that we can learn is that mental health and well-being among men is crucial in order to have a, have a much more brighter future and have less depressed meal among us in our society. Thus, we have to give a proper treatment and support to our fellow males out there so that they can strive and be much better, the better version of themselves. So we gotta give them a, a proper method, support, um, medication if they are having any depression, anxiety, so that they can be uh, a great person as a whole and that's all for the speech thank you